When it comes to making big money plays, no professional player in any sport comes close to doing as good a job as Mr. 7 Foot Shaquille O'Neal. As a player, he always used to worry about going broke after retirement and that drove him to making smart financial decisions. It was the fear of going broke that resulted in him making more money after retirement than he was making as a player. In one of his interviews, Shaq said that he wanted to make 800 k per year for the next 10 years. He ended up making 4 million just in his first year as a professional basketball player. Shaq made a boatload of money while playing and he used that money to invest in companies that he personally liked. This is one of the most basic and viable concepts of investing. You can't go wrong with a company whose products you think are genuinely good and the company is turning a profit. At the young age of 20, Shaq got his first big bag at the Orlando Magic where he played for 4 years and received 17 million dollars. He then signed a 7 year contract with the Lakers for 120 million. After that, he made 40 million in 2 years at Miami Heat. The last 4 years of his careers at Suns and 1 year at Cavaliers and Celtics, he earned 62 million dollars. So just by playing, he made 282 million dollars in his 19 year career. This was slightly more than the 8 million dollars which he initially dreamt of making. Talk about dreams coming true, Shaq truly achieved what most of us could only dream of. One of the reasons why I like Shaq so much is because he genuinely cares for the public. In one of his interviews he said, And I'm always a guy that if I don't believe in it, can't do it. Won't ever do it. No, no amount of money can make me endure something that I'm not 100% behind. Today, he makes most of his money through his earlier investments and endorsements. One of his most profitable investments was in the company Ring. He invested in the company because he was surprised by how cheap and effective the Ring cameras were. He said that initially, he called a security company to get cameras installed at his house and was told it would cost $70,000. Even though he could easily afford 70000 he didn't like the fact that the company was ripping him off, so he went looking for a cheaper alternative, and that's when he found out about Ring. He was so impressed by the product that he decided to invest in the company. The amount of money he invested is unknown, but it was in the year 2016 when the company was still worth less than $200 million. Later, the company was bought by Amazon for $1.2 billion which would have at least 6x the money Shaq had invested. Some of his investments include purchasing stocks in Apple, Pepsi, and General Electrics. Shaq also invested in Google when 99% of the population didn't even know about it. It was in the year 1999 when Google was raising money and Shaq happened to be in close proximity to one of the investors who convinced him to invest in the company. That year, Google was worth only a mere 100 million. Today, it's worth 1.3 trillion dollars. Shaq said that he still has those shares, but it's unknown as to what percentage of it he still owns. In an interview, he said this about Google, My only regret is that I wish I would have bought more. Shaq also loves the franchise business and always wanted to be in food business, so in 2019, he joined Papa John's as a member of the board and an ambassador for the brand. As a member of the board, he gets $8.5 million in salary per year. Not bad for a couple commercials and meetings. Well, maybe a little more than just a couple commercials and meetings. Over the years, Shaq has opened an insane number of franchise stores which basically make him money while he sleeps. Today, Shaq owns 17 Auntie Anne's franchises worth $6.5 million, 155 franchises of Five Guys Burgers worth $111 million, and one of Krispy Kreme worth $2.75 million. Apart from that, he also owns 40 fitness centers and 150 car washes. The estimates suggest that he makes somewhere around 60 million a year, even though he is blessed with such fame and fortune, he still comes off as a nice and down to earth guy. It's rare that you find celebrities or players who genuinely care for the public. The fact that he never promotes a product which he doesn't like says a lot about his personality. I wish more people were like him in the celebrity space. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.